Hello and welcome. You're watching us live. I'm Shweta Kothari. My colleague Bharat is here with me. We're bringing to you the latest from Bihar. As many as 123 kids, young children under the age of 10 have died so far in Bihar. Uh, what exactly is happening is that kids are dying due to seizure which is uh, followed by fever, fever followed by seizure. Uh, there is absolutely no clarity as to what is leading to the death. So far, multiple reasons have been, uh, you know, quoted by the medical experts. Many are calling it a case of acute encephalitis syndrome. However, there is no clarity. Uh, you know, multiple names coming in. Some are calling it uh, lychee toxin. Some are calling it chumki bukhar. There are different names being given. Uh, what is horrifying at the moment is that there is no clarity as to what is leading to the death of these children in many, many hospitals in Muzaffarpur, in Bihar, in North Bihar to be particular. Children are dying every other hour. Bharat is of course with me. Bharat, what's the latest that we have in the situation? Bihar Chief Minister finally made some time out of his busy schedule and met with the parents of those who have died, the kids who have died and many other kids who are currently admitted. Uh, currently, uh, when uh, Nitish Kumar, who finally got time to visit the place, uh, was uh, there was a protest against him inside the hospital, and the situation is not very bright. Mm. Even now, uh, doctors are hoping that there would be rain and the humidity and the temperature will come down, and so the number of patients that are coming to the hospital. Mm. As of now, uh, hundreds of kids have been treated, and. Uh, we have the number that 123 kids have died. Mm. That is the current situation as of now. And okay. uh, at the same time, rain has actually happened there. So it, hopefully the number of cases will decrease. Mm. So what exactly is ca causing the death? Because that continues to elude many journalists, uh, many medical experts, even the government. The government, in fact, is not sure as to what is leading to the death. Uh, remember, as I mentioned, uh, the number as of today stands at 123. It's only increasing by every passing hour. Uh, it's an absolute lack of apathy, lack of preparedness, and we will come to that in just a bit. But what exactly is leading to the uh, death? Uh, uh, Dr. Gopal uh, Sankar, uh, HOD of uh, Sri Krishna Medical College and Hospital, where the uh, kids who are infected with the disease are be being brought. He said that the situation is currently, the current investigation, the way it is going on, it is like uh, five blind people describing an elephant. Mm. That is the current situation. Reason being that uh, the di disease is re uh, regional, at the same time it is seasonal and it is happening for over two decades. Mm. Even then the doctors have not been conclusive on what is causing the disease. And this time uh, uh, number of deaths are too, too many and that is why we are taking a note of it. Uh, First, the disease, uh, what the currently the one thing that can be ascertained is that due to the high temperature and high humidity, uh, these mal uh, malnourished kids, because mm. Bihar is the one of the most malnourished states in our country, mm. these malnourished kids in empty stomach uh, or in uh, with less food, they had lychee, mm. which uh, led to a situation where they uh, got a seizure in their mind. and. Uh, neurological led to, absolutely yeah. so uh, led to subsequent uh, lack of blood sugar which resulted in seizures and the simple treatment that many doctors in fact are suggesting is nothing but glucose uh, so apparently what's happening here is this is a bad mixture of the temperature the climate in Bihar at this point in time uh, the fact that many poorest of poor kids are having lychee on empty stomach remember the food uh, the fruit per se lychee is not bad or it's not ill recommended uh, however how you consume it how much you consume it it's actually proving to be deadly in this case so multiple factors that are now coming to light yes and it. we have to understand that lychee is not the cow the cow is the malnourishment mm. in that area mm. there is a huge malnourishment in that area and the kids uh, uh, they were not uh, able to digest it, but at the same time, doctors are also saying that lychee might not be caused because in previous years, the number of deaths were less. Mm. So the temperature at the same time, the cleanliness of area is very less. Mm. Uh, ironically, uh, Mujapparpur is one of the recommended city for smart cities. Mm. It was supposed to be developed as smart cities mm. and this place has uh, uh, no doctors. Uh, do, uh, do, uh, the, I will just state a few of the data. This place has 80 doc, uh, doctors per 1 lakh patients. Okay. Not population, 80 doctors per 1 lakh patients. Patients. And mm. 
the means even the doctors in the hospital are saying that they are not able to manage the number of cases coming because they don't have enough number of doctors. Okay. There is lack of doctors and uh, Dr. Harshvardhan, who is the health minister of our country, when he visited the place, he did not have any problem. You see that uh, in 2001, according to WHO, there was 13.7 doctors were per one lakh of population. Mm -hmm which has now reduced to six doctors per one lakh population, one thing. Second thing is that by according to WHO recommendation, we need to have one doctor per thousand uh, population, mm. which is, if you uh, compare the situation, there is definitely lack of doctors there. And okay, so lack of doctors is one problem, Bharat, but the, uh, there are other problems that are compounding to what we are seeing at this point in Bihar and one of the primary reasons uh, for the failure is also uh, the lack of primary health care centers. Yes. So there are absolutely dearth of primary health care centers, there is there's a, a absolute dearth of the number of doctors but also the equipments, hospitals, infrastructure, uh, there is absolutely uh, no prevention that has been or preventive machinery that has been put into place. This after the fact that years after years you know, ladies and gentlemen, over the course of last two decades, multiple children have died. But it appears that the Nitish Kumar government, which has been ruling uh, in the state for 15 years, hasn't woken up just as yes. yet. Yes. In 2014, uh, to our shock, when we were reading about it, uh, we got to know that 700 kids died in 2014. Mm. And after that, number of deaths decreased because that uh, year the research were done mm. and then precautionary me measure like intravenous glucose and all these were recommended and that were followed across the villages. Mm. But uh, uh, minister of, uh, uh, who, uh, from the state, he said that this year they failed to follow the SOP mm. because there was election. Mm. The awareness was not done. The basic precaution that needs to be taken before the month of June arrived, mm. the, those all precautions were not taken. Mm. So this led to the increase in the number of deaths. Even BJP MP from the same uh, from the area has said that the number of deaths could have been reduced if the precautionary me measures would have been taken in the past. I mean, before the month start of okay. the month of June. So no precautionary measures were taken, and uh, many doctors are saying that this is because it was election year. Uh, I mean, it's an absolute lack of uh, it's it's absolute lack of empathy apathy from the part of the government officials. Uh, elections, if they're blaming it on elections, God save this government because I'm sure when it comes to voting for the Nitish Kumar government next, people are going to keep this in mind, but we're not going to get into the politics of it. Let me quickly, you know, read up a few comments that we're getting, Bharat, yes. before we move ahead. A uh, number of people, of course, writing to us, Vivek Raj is saying that this is no system, not even single glass of water for children. There is no system. Yes, He's sir. saying there is no system. There's no water. Uh, uh, there are they... no beds. There is no cot. There are four to five kids lying in the same cot. Uh, actually, parents who are in uh, the, that hospital, they have to travel one kilometer to get, just get water to the hospital. The hospital is facing the water scarcity. The, uh, the government has failed even to wa provide water to that hospital. Hmm. Yes, that is. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Vivek writing to us again, it is happening since 1995. Yes. So we have brought this to light, Vivek. Yes, this has been happening for last two to three decades. Absolutely no lesson learned for the government. No action till now. He continues to write poor administration. Of course, this is nothing but poor administration. I also want to talk about the immediate response. So when the news started trickling in, since then, we know that Union Health Minister Harshwardhan has already visited the hospital, the Sri Krishna Medical Hospital. Uh, just today, Nitish Kumar government, Nitish Kumar, in fact, visited the hospital. Some are going to say, and in fact, I myself believe, Bharat, that this is perhaps a little too late. This after multiple instances have come on record where multiple kids have died and the Nitish Kumar government finally found some time to do something about it. Okay, so uh, I think government did not wake up immediately. It took them 10 days after there were media reports of mm. the death. Till then, no one responded. Mm. Neither the health minister of the country, neither the health minister of the state, none of them responded. And the response was like that, mm. that the health minister of the state, uh, Bihar, Mangal Pandey, he, uh, he was caught uh, asking for the score while the press conference was going on. Mm. Ashwini Chobe, Minister of State. So he was uh, you know, very important to point out because the State Health Minister perhaps was more interested in the cricket match that was going on and not the failure of the healthcare machinery in Bihar. Yes, yes and uh, uh, second one was uh, uh, means response of Ashwini Chobe. He was caught uh, taking nap during the press conference. 
and Dr. Hasmuddin, uh, Health Minister, he came and went away. Hmm. And later on, when media wanted to ask questions, he uh, said that he won't be answering questions anymore. Hmm. So even his response was not that great. Means he came to the hospital and he did not find any problem with the hospital. Hmm. He said that uh, uh, research team will be set up uh, by June 2020, and then they will find uh, try to find the. Uh, cause of the de death and all. Hmm. So uh, his response was not that perfect. Means he did not try to see that uh, the hospital lacked a number of uh, doctors. Hmm. The, there was no water in the hospital. The uh, parents were sleeping on the floor. Even the kids who had the who had had the disease, they were sleeping you on know, the floor. You know, this this reminds me quickly of what happened when uh, the encephalitis breakout happened in UP. And this was in the year of 2017. And when Yogi Adityanath actually visited the local hospital, uh, it was cleaned for Yogi Adityanath. For that very moment when the chief minister was to visit, uh, all the people who were sitting on the floor were asked to move out. The chief minister came in. It was a photo op. He gave a bite and he went away. He gave a media bite and he went away. So absolute change in the way it was functioning for over that period of time while you know the chief minister was visiting. That's when the hospital administration took note of the hospital cleanliness, the number of patients who were there, the number of patients who were lying on the floor. They asked them all to move out. And when the photo op was done, when the media had gone back, all the national media channels were back, uh, you know, to Lutian's Delhi. That's when they decided and asked and allowed, in fact, all the patients and their family members and everybody to come back. Today, the uh, similar thing happened that when uh, Nitish Kumar ca came, mm -hmm. there was an interruption in the uh, treatment of the kids. Okay. Uh, and this created problem. One thing, second thing, you brought the cleanliness factor. Uh, cleanliness is one of the factors that is contributing to the disease mm. and when it comes to cleanliness, uh, uh, Mujapurpur is nowhere in the list of 73 cities that were uh, in the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Mm. So it is nowhere in, uh, near to the cleanliness and uh, that is also contributing to that factor. Okay. And Patna, which is Bihar's capital, it is 70th in the rank in 73 uh, cities that has been be listed on the search, search the hmm. so that is also contributing to the disease okay so there is no cleanliness of course and uh, the preventive measures that have not been put into place let's quickly sum this up you know uh, yes. and let's let me first take a take in a few comments before we sum this up and uh, Mohit Singh writing to us at this point, the majority of the affected ones are the ones who are malnourished and eating leeches on empty stomach and it is similar to what happened in Nigeria. Mohit, uh, I, I must reiterate at this point, I completely agree with you because that's the medical opinion coming in. However, the doctors still are not very certain. These could be contributing factors, but the doctors still are not certain. There is no conclusive, uh, you know, statement that has been coming in from the medical fraternity. Medical fraternity has not concluded just as yet as to what exactly is the cause. These could be a few leading factors. Yes, uh, there have been research and uh, a few of them have pointed out that uh, consuming leachy in an empty st stomach for a kid can be a very big uh, problem mm. and it le leads to neurological disorder. I would like to point out at this time that uh, as of now even those kids who are getting treated mm. they will be having ne neurological deficit after the treatment as a survivor and in the Bihar there is no physiotherapy and physiotherapist number of physiotherapists are very less and even there is no system from the government to give physiotherapy treatment to these kids mm. so they will be living with these defects for years to come mm. so we need to understand that even after this month passes by and the number of deaths reduces to zero, the effect of the disease will be there. We need to understand that and that is why we need to ask the government to improve the healthcare system in Bihar and in general in Mujapurpur. Hmm. And how do you increase the system of healthcare? There are of course some preventive measures that can be that can take place that can uh, be dealt with so as soon as possible the government should start the vaccination process uh, there is of course uh, uh, you know the vaccines that are available we are given to understand for acute encephalitis syndrome if it is a case of encephalitis the doctors will first have to determine what is causing the deaths uh, secondly there have to be information campaigns uh, the people uh, the poorest of the poor. Remember, the disease has only hit the poorest of the poor, ladies and gentlemen, not the middle class or the upper middle class strata of society, the poorest of the poor. So the, there has to be an information uh, you know, system that has, been, that has to be put into place, a concrete information system that relays as to what should be done, what should not be done in order to prevent the disease, Bharat. Okay, so what I believe is that if the government would have been sincere, that this number of deaths could have been reduced. 
the first thing was to develop uh, this government did not follow the sop which also inc gi include giving intra intravenous glucose to the kids which was not done there was no awareness done on the issue mm -hmm. uh, after the 700 deaths in 2014 there was awareness and the number of deaths re reduced to 8 in 2018 mm. so we need to understand that uh, this has had an impact yes so when the government woke up in the past and you know rolled out awareness campaigns it had an impact so perhaps time for the government to start doing that periodically and not wait for as many as 100 children to die yes definitely the government has all the solution at uh, his their place to like solve the issue but it it is yet to be seen that after 2 to 3 years we might again see the rising number of cases because it happens that whenever tragedy happens in our country we outrage we talk about it for days and afterwards we forget and the government forget and the same tragedy occurs in 2 to 3 years for example in recent time only the deaths happened in gorakhpur we forgot the deaths are happening kids are uh, kids died in uh, surat where the uh, due to because the, of the fire yes absolutely because of the fire tragedy and now this is happening so whether we learn the lesson or not that is the point means if uh, this tragedy passes by and it will pass by because the rains uh, the moment rain will happen and the humidity will go down and the temperature will mm. get better and the government may just learn its lesson this time around may do something for next year but this has to be a continuous process ladies and gentlemen the government cannot relinquish its duty towards the citizen of this country especially the poorest of poor before we sum this up and uh, let's quickly take in a few more comments but yes. before we sum up uh, all right so abdullah ashraf writing to us i hope people and politicians will rise and think of development of india rather than hindu muslim polarization i hope medical and educational facilities will improve vivek writing to us again they were thinking that this incident would be hidden because each year the same is happening but this year the number of those who've died is increased to almost 131 there must be complete solution to the problem now onward there should be no death that's exactly what we are saying there has to be a holistic proper uh, system that has to be put in place this is not a problem ladies and gentlemen which is new to india this is a problem that india has dealt with in the past and therefore it's high time it's high time that we make sure that preventive health care and primary health care is improved in bihar let's take in a few more comments uh, uh, yes. i would like to answer one comment uh, palka verma is commenting that how come malnarish children eating lychee which is extremely expensive uh, muzaffarpur is, is a region where lychee are the, uh, you, uh, agriculture of lychee is the ma prominent occupation of people hmm. one thing second thing is that mo most of the ma these malnarish kids work in those farms where lychee are being uh, raised so mm. they consume it because it is free for them mm. and they consume it and later on they get the disease mm. it might this is one of the means uh, argument absolutely so while it may be expensive for those living in uh, you know areas outside muzaffarpur for people in muzaffarpur it's relatively cheap because there are orchards uh, of lychees there are there number of trees lychee is particularly grown in this area and therefore it's relatively cheap uh, another comment that is coming in from sorb mishra our chief minister is busy framing laws on liquor ban but he doesn't have the time and money to improve the medical facilities in bihar this is purely the case of government and bureaucratic negligence so the calling it a, a case of government and uh, you know negligence on the part of bureaucracy i completely agree this is uh, negligence lack of intention can be one of lack the reason lack of intention negligence uh, perhaps uh, we don't really care until it ha hits us hard uh, the attitude has of obviously resulted in more and more deaths every other alternate year because the year it happens the year it hits us the hardest that year the government takes action and the next year or the subsequent year onward it is completely forgotten and the reason uh, government has not acted that swiftly is might be because the, the people who are getting affected are from lower strata of the society their socio economic condition is not that great that is might be the reason that uh, government has not reacted that uh, means swiftly to the uh, disease uh 10 days going by and no government response is uh, like hard to believe but this happened in this case oh all right absolutely it was so 10 days passing by absolutely no impact on the government finally a uh, meeting was conducted remember by nitish kumar yesterday he visited the kith and kin of those who've lost their uh, you know young kids today 
it's a little too late some of them are saying some of the family members obviously are protesting saying that it's a little too late remember these are the poorest of poor people and maybe that's the reason why not enough attention is being paid towards what's happening in bihar we are tracking this story very very closely for you ladies and gentlemen we will keep bringing you all the updates thanks very much for watching stay logical thank you